If you're curious about the real estate scene in the greater Toronto area, you've come to the right place. I'm going to try to break down and explain all the numbers and trends from the summer in a simple way for you. Welcome. My name is Matt Sloan and I'm a realtor here in the greater Toronto area. If you're still interested in learning more after this video, you can go into the first link in the description below and book a call with me at a time that works for you. Oh yeah, and if you don't mind, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Now, let's dive into it. For starters, we've had positive annual growth, but during the summer, the GTA housing market continued to grow compared to the same time last year, with sales increasing by 8%. However, things slowed down a bit compared to June. Why? Well, the Bank of Canada raised rates to the highest point in 22 years, which made some buyers worried. This led to a decrease of 30% in transactions compared to June. Next, we've seen market shifts in favor of buyers with more properties being listed. The balance shifted towards buyers, new listings increased by 12% compared to the previous year. This made sales to new listings ratio drop significantly, meaning buyers have more options to choose from. Now, whether or not those options are what buyers are looking for is another story, but nonetheless, we have more inventory on the market. Next, inventory and prices. The number of active listings remained steady, but the months of supply on the market increased from 1.3 months in May to three months in July and August. This means there's more supply compared to demand. Prices in July were 4.2% higher than the previous year, but they dropped 5.4% since June rent interest rate hike. Now, all housing types are a little different. So different types of homes perform differently. Turnkey homes where buyers did not have to do much were, that were priced well were still getting a lot of attention. Where homes that needed a little work, not staged, and priced, priced higher with higher expectations found themselves sitting on the market, while buyers became a little bit more picky. Next, we've seen some regional differences. Detached homes were more popular within the Toronto city limits, with sales up by 9% compared to last year. Condo apartments did better in the 905 region than the 416 and the Durham region had the lowest inventory, meaning it had fewer homes for sale. Next, the impact of interest rates. The GTA housing market is very sensitive to changes in the interest rates. The Bank of Canada's rate increase led to the slowdown in sales and prices. Buyers were being cautious with rates above 6%, which we haven't seen in a long time. So what's ahead? The housing market is expected to be quieter as the summer comes to an end. If the Bank of Canada pauses the rate increases in September, Sales might pick up, but it's unlikely we'll see the same rapid pace growth as earlier this year. So in conclusion, interest rates mixed with travel and other priorities throughout the summer are shaking things up, making buyers think twice or put housing on the back burner, causing a shift in the market. Hope this video helped you understand what's happening in the real estate world. If you found this information useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more easy learning videos.